Well, from the classrooms of the West Side to the control rooms of NASA, a Kennedy High School graduate proves that big dreams can take you far, even into space. Ken Spive's Danny Edmosil tells us about one one of San Antonio's own who turned determination into a launch pad for greatness. John F. Kennedy High School has been educating West Side teens since 1963. The faces change, but the dreams remain the same. It's, uh, it brings back a lot of memories. Randy Herrera and I graduated from Kennedy in 1980. 45 years later, being back in a classroom brought back a flood of memories. So, Randy, first off, tell me, what's it like to be back in the hallways and highways of Kennedy High School? Oh, it's, uh, it brings back a lot of memories. Uh, you know, just driving down McMullen uh, to get here, and it's just like, wow, that's not, that's new, oh, that's different. When we were in school, Edgewood was the 10th poorest school district in the nation. It was a high hurdle to clear, not just to graduate, but to go on to a good career and a better life. Randy credits his teachers for helping him overcome those obstacles. There was a lot of encouragement, I guess, is that I had. Uh, and people, I felt like the teachers were always pushing me to go farther and do better. And so it was, it was you know, I felt very uh, challenged uh, to, you know, do my best. Randy fell in love with math and thought that he wanted to teach it. But his parents pushed him to go further. I mentioned at one point to my dad, uh, God rest his soul, um, that I wanted to be a math teacher. So he kind of looked at me and said, you know, teaching math is about teaching. It's not really about the math. And I know you like the math. So have you thought about maybe being an, an engineer? Because I know you like um, fiddling with all the electronic circuits and stuff. Randy retooled his plans and earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from Texas A&M. After completing his master's degree, he aimed for the stars, landing a job at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. And um, suddenly here I am, 37 years later, an aerospace engineer, and I didn't think I would ever be a rocket scientist working at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. This Kennedy rocket has worked on major unmanned space projects such as the Galileo and Cassini spacecraft. Today I'm overseeing uh, what's going on with all our missions. We have 22 missions that are in development and uh, I help the lead engineers on those get ready for launch. One of Randy's former teachers says that stars like him only come around once in a while and when they do it's up to educators to give them the proper encouragement and tools so that they don't have a failure to launch. You might see those stars three or four times in your career. You don't see them often. So you encourage anything you can. But a lot of them fade away because they get involved with someone, they fall in love, they don't finish college, but Randy didn't. Randy says he didn't really plan for this career, but the lessons he learned at JFK and in life prepared him for the challenge. Being prepared for opportunities, uh, being curious, and don't let anybody say you can't do something. On the West Side, Danny Hermosillo, Ken's Five. Proud to be San Antonio's mm -hmm. own. Very yeah. cool. All right, Rocket Man. Yeah.